This video was made possible by the EA Game Changers program. Hi everyone, it's Chrissy and welcome back to the channel and welcome to the Build Buy Overview for the Sims 4 Cottage Living Expansion Pack. So yes, this is going to be the full Build Buy Overview and I'm also going to be going over some of the debug items as well and some of the show live edit like world objects because there's a lot in both of those menus. But first off, I do just want to say that I am currently playing on a pre-release kind of like alpha build of the game. So that's why you will see my origin ID floating around the screen as you will see with all of these early access videos that I'm going to be posting. And because this is a like pre-release build of the game, it's not the final version of it. So it is subject to change if there's something that needs to be changed. So yes, it is subject to change because it isn't the final build of the pack. So yeah, I just wanted to get those two dis disclaimers out there. And then also I do want to say thank you to the Game Changer program for providing me with early access and with this early access build of the game so that I could make these videos. But yeah, so this is going to be the build buy overview and all of these items that you can see right here are the items that actually come in the regular build buy catalog. So we're going to start at a point and then move through everything. I'm not going to be showing off every single color swatch because most of these items have at least six to seven color swatches and it's just way too much to go through in like one video otherwise the video would be like 50 minutes long <laughs> so yeah we're just going to kind of run through everything and i'm not going to spoil too much of it because i'm also going to be doing a bunch of speed builds with all of these new items that you will see in like either tomorrow or in like over spread out over the next like week or so you will see like a bunch of speed builds that I've done. I've actually done five of them at the po at the when I'm recording this and I'm working on another one. So yeah, there's a, going to be a bunch of speed builds going out featuring all of these items. And you will see me obviously use a bunch of the different color swatches in those builds. But yeah, so jumping on into this. So we're going to be starting off with the actual build assets. And I think we're going to start off with wallpapers. So if you go to wallpapers, you can see that we have what, like seven? Yeah, seven new wallpapers. We have this brick wallpaper, the sunlit stone brick wallpaper. And it also has a version of it that has the like, I don't know, the like corner pieces. I never use these kind of piece, like these kind of assets with the corner pieces. But we have those and obviously they come in a bunch of different swatches. As you can see, we also have this kind of like bigger stone, the quite cobbled stone. So yeah, it's a little bit more of like a bigger stone texture as you can see behind the windows. We have that. We also have the brick whisper. So kind of like bricks that have been like plastered and painted over. So yeah, it's a little bit plainer, a little bit more like smooth as well, but it still has the very nice brick texture to it. So we have that. And then we have a couple of like really patterned wallpapers. So we have the garden party wainscot wainscoting. I don't know how you say that, but yeah, we have this one. Now this does have a couple of different color swatches that actually has different wallpapers. So as you can see, there's versions where they have like little bunnies and mushrooms on them. And then other versions that have the like cute little flowers on them. And then you also have the flowered vines wainscoting. So we have a left and a right version. So basically what this means is that the like the like leaves, I guess, are just inverted. So as you can see, this is the exact same swatch. But this is the right one and this is the left one. So the leaves are kind of like basically mirrored. So yeah, we have that. And then obviously they do come in a bunch of different colors. And all of like the baseboarding actually changes as well. Now that's something that I'm kind of annoyed about if I'm being completely honest. Is the fact that a lot of these swatches, like the lighter swatches for example... They only come in like a, 
more, I don't know, like washed out brown, a green, and then a kind of medium brown. There's no like dark brown version with like the wood with this light wallpaper. So again, it's just a little like swatch detail that I'm not always happy about. But I mean, considering we only have, you know, as many swatches as we do in the game, that's bound to happen with every single pack. There's always going to be some swatch combination that I just don't like. So, yeah, I mean, it's not the end of the world, but it's kind of annoying. So, yeah, that's kind of a little pet peeve of mine. But moving on, we also have two new flooring, like flooring, I don't know, not styles, but flooring assets, I guess you could say. We have the Seaside Cottage um wooden like floorboards that i actually love i love the i love these wooden floorboards so much i laid out all of the colors for you guys to see and then we also have the primrose path now this path is really really pretty the only complaint that i have is the fact that there is a matching like terrain paint version of this but as you can see, it's supposed to match the pink pathway, but it doesn't. The stones don't match, the even the flowers aren't the exact same color, so they don't blend together, which is really irritating, and there's only the pink version of the terrain paint. There's obviously, as you can see, like six different like pathway colors, like tile, tiling colors, I guess I could say, but there's only one terrain paint item, and that's probably because terrain paint doesn't actually support the swatch system. So you won't ever see like a terrain paint with like several different swatches. I'm guessing they would all have to be separate assets, like separate terrain paints, which would just clutter up the catalog. So I do kind of get why they only like gave us one but it's still kind of annoying not having a matching terrain paint to the pathway that we have. But yeah, so those are all of the like flooring assets, but we do have quite a few different windows and doors as well. As you can see, we have three kind of, I guess, different sets of windows, if that makes sense. So we have this one, which is more of like a Storybrook feel. So it's all they're all called Storybrook something and you know all in the same style and obviously they all have a bunch of different swatches. So this is definitely more of a like cottage like witches fairies cabin in the wood kind of fairy tale vibe. Then we also have the more like stone kind of I don't know, I guess town center old stone building kind of windows. So yeah, we have these and they have a ton of different color swatches with different wood frames and everything like that. So that's really nice. And as you can see, they do come in a bunch of different like styles. So a bunch of little different assets and shapes and everything. And then obviously the Storybrook one has a, both a right and a left shutter one. So that's great. And then the last, I guess, set that we have is the... I guess more like shuttered and kind of farmhouse style. So we have this kind of bay window little thing that kind of looks like a turret window. And it's like just a cute little like bay window. And it actually I think fits a little bit better with the storybook like vibe. Because a lot of those swatches actually match a little bit better. And then obviously it has the little thatched roofing. And then we also have this bay window, which is the bay bay window, apparently. But this one is, again, a little bit more of like a, I guess, farmhouse kind of style with, you know, definitely matches all of like the swatches on the, like, um, the shuttered windows. Apologies if I can't get my words out. It has been a very long day. So English just isn't happening for some reason. Probably because I haven't been speaking English at all today. So yeah, it's just, it's not happening at the moment. But yeah, we have that window. And then we also have the like set of shuttered windows. So we have a, we have two of them that are both like three tiles wide. But we have one that's a little bit taller and then one that's a little bit shorter as well. And like I said, just a bunch of different colors. Very versatile as well. So yeah, we have a bunch of different colors. 
and then we also have the left and the right shutter piece so this one is actually just two tiles so we have that and then we also have this window that's also a two tile wide window but it's a little bit more plain definitely fits in places where you might not necessarily want a shuttered window or you don't want like a three tile wide window or something like that and it's actually open which is really cool I really like the way that looks and then we do just have two small windows in this style as well so we have like a square one and a round one that's probably going to look best as like a roof accent or something and then we also have a couple of different doors so we do have one medium height door which is this one definitely more in that like storybook kind of fantasy fairy tale vibe and then we do have two more doors that are kind of in that style let me just group them together so yeah we have these two doors that are both in kind of like that style this one especially these are all like like lowest wall height doors I almost said medium again but yeah it's for the lowest wall height and we have like I said a bunch of different colors with the little like wreath at, wreath at the front not wreath oh my word I can't speak okay yeah so we have the little wreath door and then we also have this one that has the cute little like knocker on it which is really cool I love the fact that this door in particular looks a little bit more worn and kind of like you know it has been in the elements for a while and you know some of the paint might have rubbed off at some points which i really like the way that looks and then we have this style of door which definitely fits more into the kind of like older style cottage kind of matches with the more stone like windows but this also works really well with the farm style windows windows as well window set so yeah basically all of the swatches for all of the windows and like doors as well they all work together so you will find matching swatches in i guess basically every single set so yeah that's very nice i like the fact that a lot of the wood colors that they chose to go for are very versatile there's stuff that we do have in other packs as well and yeah so that's something that's definitely a plus now at the moment i only have the base game and the new pack in this like pre-release build of the game so i've only been able to check out the base game with all of the new items but even with just base game a lot of the items really do work very well together so that's always a good thing to know when it comes to a new pack but yeah, moving on, we also have a column, a new column with a bunch of different colors. We also have a spandrel as well. So a very nice, just plain looking spandrel, which I really like. And then we also have three different, like, I don't know, like fence types, I guess you could say. We have two wooden fences. Now this one is a little bit more, I guess, handmade looking. Definitely meant to be more used like outside for like... Maybe, I don't know, maybe like a paddock for a cow or like chickens or whatever enclosure for them. But yeah, you have these and like I said, bunch of different colors. It also has a matching gate, obviously. And then we have this fabled fence. Now, this one actually has a matching stair railing because we did get a new staircase. Let me just plop this one down. So we did get a new staircase with a bunch of different wood swatches and everything. And then we did get the matching stair railing as well. So we do have that and then obviously that would match, you know, this fence. And it has a matching gate as well. And then we also got a stone fence. Now I do have one complaint with this stone fence. And you will see more of this when we get to looking at the show live edit objects items. But there are a bunch of sewn fences in the world and in the show live edit objects menu as well that you can actually access. And none of the swatches of this fence in bold mode actually matches those fences. So you can't like use them together if that makes sense. And just the swatches overall for this fence just isn't they're not my favorite i mean there's this kind of like blue black it's not even a real black we have a green swatch for some weird reason we have a couple of more bluish swatches bluish green swatches 
we have this brown one that you can see in the middle and then we have a couple of lighter swatches that basically look the exact same i mean this is two separate swatches but they kind of look the exact same and none of the swatches are just a nice plain gray stone swatch or maybe just a like red brick swatch they're all these like really weird and kind of like off colors that just doesn't match anything else in the game so that's kind of really irritating because this is a very nice looking fence like the details on it the stones and everything looks really really great and i absolutely adore the gate that came with it so this is the matching gate for that and i adore this gate i mean i love like the bright colored woods the flowers and everything if only the stone would actually match something that we had in the game so yeah that's very irritating but we have that and we do have a couple of like wall de build decorations so we have this like i don't know what you'd call this it's called the fro floral bragger and i don't know if it's like a it's not a column but it's a corbel i think it's what you call it but yeah it has a bunch of different swatches we also have a new flower box that i absolutely love i love the little wooden design on it and all of the flowers are really pretty and it just has a bunch of color swatches as well so that's great we also have a couple of new ivy pieces so we have these like seven point ivy pieces like this big one we have this one and there are actually some more of these in the show life edit objects menu that they didn't end up adding to the actual build catalog that you can also use so yeah there are a few more options in the like debug menu we also have some wisteria that we have that it's something that we've never really had in the game before and I love these. So there's like, what, five different pieces. We have the long one. We have this kind of curved one. And then we have a few that are just different lengths and just like straight pieces. But I love these. They look so nice. Like the detail on them and just the roots and everything looks so good. And they actually stand out from the wall. So they're not flat or anything like that which is great i have been using these a lot in my builds and yeah so moving on we also have a couple of like awnings for windows and stuff we have a thatched one and then we also have one that looks a little bit more like a maybe like a town cottage or you know farmhouse kind of thing with like a shingle roof and we also have a balcony which is really cute i love this so this basically matches that fence that we have as well. So all of like the swatches and stuff match. So that's great. We do have three new like topiary bushes as well that are in the actual build catalog. Now we have a cow, a bunny and a chicken in this. And we don't have any other like plants in the regular build catalog. But there is a buttload of stuff in the show live edit objects, which we will get to once I go through all of these other items. But yeah, we have those three in the regular catalog. We also have a couple of new like chimney pieces as well, which I really, really like. And they actually go with the new fireplaces that we have. So yeah, I love these fireplaces. They're both gorgeous, totally different styles as well. So this one looks a little bit more like, you know, the same cottagey in the woods fairy tale vibe, more rustic looking. And then this one looks a little bit more like something you would find in a not modern build, but still something that's not like super, I guess, fairy tale themed, if that makes sense, storybook themed. So yeah, we have those and they're actually both three tile wide fireplaces. So yeah, we have those. And then we also have a couple of roof decorations. So we have a couple of new, what do you call these? Like bay, not bay windows, but like roof windows, dormer type things. I think they're called dormers. But yeah, we have this one that's again with like the shingle roof that looks a little bit more like towns house type thing and then we have two new ones we have a round one and a just more square one that look that are in this more like storybook kind of style with the like thatched roofing and then we get to the really interesting part which is let me just put down an actual roof for a second 
so yeah we have we have a new roof texture as well we have this like thatched roof texture that matches all of like the thatched roofing pieces that we have in the game and a new like roof trim as well that matches you know same swatches all of that stuff and then we have these things now you might have seen these in the trailer or like in all of the trailers on top of the roof and they're actually different pieces that you can you know choose however many of them you want to add and they can add a very nice like extra layer of like detail to your roofing so they do stand out a little bit you know you can have little like cap end piece as well and then obviously you have some of the little animals on top so there's a chicken and two rabbits and yeah it's just it's very cute and it's a nice way of adding a little bit of detail to your like cottage builds to the roofing and stuff like that to make it not look as flat as the roofing currently does in the game so yeah that's really nice and then obviously it just has a bunch of like different thatch swatches we also have these run of the mill roof supports now I don't know exactly how you're meant to use these I mean I've just been using them as kind of like roof decorations on top of the roofing so like putting them around like that and then I don't know maybe using a different roof texture maybe using like shingles or something I don't know stuff like that so yeah you have those if you wanted to use them okay but moving on to the actual build buy items I just put all of them down and kind of separated them into categories so bear with me whilst we go through them so first off I want to show you guys the animal like sheds and stuff so we have obviously the cow and the llama shed so it's called animal shed it has a fairly big footprint on it actually it's like I don't know how many squares that is but I'm not going to count all of them right now but yeah it has a fairly big footprint and the animals actually won't travel outside of that footprint so you can buy a llama or a cow by just clicking on the shed in live mode and then they will actually just you know they'll live in the shed but they'll also come out and if the weather is nice they'll actually spend most of their time outside but they won't actually move outside of the little footprint of the building so they won't technically be free roaming but you can just put them in like the middle of an empty field and they'll stay there or you can actually just use some fences to fence it off make like a little paddock or like enclosure type thing if you wanted to so yeah that's something that you can do and you should also know that you can only have one cow or one llama per shed so if you want to have like both a llama and a cow you will need to have two different sheds for them now the other like animal thing that we have is the chicken coop now the chicken coop has a smaller footprint only like three by four but if you buy the chickens on the chicken coop and you just put it somewhere and you know they have you know they're not like enclosed in a space or like locked in a space or anything like that they will just roam like everywhere on your lot they will if i put the chicken coop on this corner of the lot and I don't fence them in and like lock the gate to not allow chickens through they will just wander over the whole lot so they're actually very nicely like free roaming but you can call them back to the chicken coop if you want to and like feed them and all of that stuff and like interact with them and everything like that and you can actually have eight chickens per coop so you can have 20 coops on your like farm and have a buttload of chickens if that's something that you wanted to do but you can only have eight chickens living in one coop so that's something you should just keep in mind and then we also have the wild rabbit and wild flock of bird home so these two items are actually locked i did unlock them with the like show live edit yakety yakety yak that very long cheat the uh, the ignore gameplay unlocks that one so yeah i always play with that cheat enabled anyway so yeah we have these now this you will actually if you don't want to cheat for them you'll unlock these two items if you end up making friends with a wild rabbit or a wild flock of birds then you will, will be able to place these items on your lot and they will actually come and live in these items so you will see them around more often 
and stuff like that. You know, the birds and the rabbits don't function as pets the same way cats and dogs do. They're still wild animals, but you can become friends with them and they will choose to kind of like live around your lot and be around your lot the most of the time. So yeah, we have those. We also have the Crumple Bottoms Garden Stall and the Gold Blooms Grocery Shop. Now I haven't tested out if these work on another lot apart from like the town square. So I don't know if you can actually use these and just hire vendors to tend them if that's something you'd like to do. But it's possible. I don't know. It could be possible. We also have the... We also have a wedding arch in kind of like this build category. So it does actually work as a wedding arch. It's the Henford wedding arch, which is really, really pretty. Definitely more of that like storybook kind of fairy tale vibe with, you know, the vines and the flowers and stuff like that. And then we also have two new in-ground garden patches. So we have this one that's just the unplowed version and then we also have the mounded in ground patch. So yeah, that's this one. And it does have a few different dirt swatches as well. And these are actually where you can grow the oversized crops. So the other crops that come with this pack, like the berries and raspberries and stuff like that, and mushrooms and everything, you can grow them in just the like regular planters as well. They do work in that in those. But if you want to grow any of the oversized crops, like the big pumpkins, the like eggplants, stuff like that, you will need to have some of these on your lot. So yeah, those are all of those items. We also have the like picnic baskets and stuff that I'll show you guys in just a second. But let's move on to, I guess, the bedroom stuff. So we do have a new bed. We have a new double bed. That's really, really pretty. I love the iron bed frame on this. And then there's a bunch of different colors. We do have some that are more patterned and like kind of floral and stuff. But we do also have a couple that are just plain bed swatches. And then we also have a few that are just plaid and stuff. So that's really pretty. I love that. And we also have a new dresser. So this is kind of like a dresser and... I guess mirror vanity kind of thing in one so it will function as both a mirror and a dresser so we have this we also have a matching bed side table with like matching swatches which is really really nice love the way that looks and then we also have a matching like console table that's also in this exact same style with the same swatches everything like that so yeah, yeah we have that then moving on to some of the decorative things, I guess we could just, I could just talk about them whilst we're here. We have a new like bookend type thing, the bunny book sandwich bookends. Now I think these will actually work the same way the base game ones work where they actually will function as a bookcase so your sims can use them. So yeah, we have those. We have a couple of new plants. We have this cute little like floral vase. And then we have this gorgeous new plant. Now, if you guys know me and your regulars on the channel, you will know that I use the Dine Out plant. So one of the Dine Out plants that, that are also kind of this more like, I guess, tall, almost skinny kind of looking plant. I use that plant in like every build. Now, once I actually get this pack in my regular game, I will be using this plant in every single build because it's stunning it's just stunning in all of the builds i've done so far i think i've used this plant at least three or four times in every single build so yeah i'm definitely going to overuse that a lot we also have this kind of i guess this is technically a light it's technically underneath the lighting category of the game so it's a the tech torch by tech time tactical so yeah, it's technically a little like lantern light, but it has a cute little bucket of flowers on it, standing on a little like stump table. Very cute. Love the swatches on all of this as well. We also have this wagon of plants. That's also very cute. And then we have this, which is actually a fountain. So this rooster is actually a fountain. They will, you know, it will spray like water out of that thing as well. So that's very cute. 
We also have some like standing, I guess, I guess these are like signs. Yeah, they're kind of like signs. So we have these, which are both very, which are all very cute. We have a little llama. We have one that's just kind of like a chalkboard drawing sign. And then we have this little barrel with the bunny and everything like that on it. I've been using this item a lot in my builds as well. So yeah, those are some of the decorations that we have. But we also have a new sofa, a three tile wide sofa. We also have a new armchair as well that kind of matches. And I say kind of, I mean, not all of the swatches actually match, which is kind of irritating. But they do have enough like matching swatches that I can kind of make it work usually. But unfortunately, no two tile wide sofa, which is just irritating to be completely honest. But we also have an outdoors bench, like a wooden bench. And then we have these two things, which are actually seats. So they do actually function as like living chairs. So we have a pile of hay or like a hay bale, I guess. And then we have a little mushroom that your sims or like toadstool that your sims can sit on, which I guess that's kind of cute. I can't see myself using it a lot apart from maybe like in kids rooms or something. But yeah, that's something that we now have in the game. Okay, moving on, we have a new dining table as well. Just a one tile round cute little dining table with a tablecloth. We have some new dining chairs as well. We also have a new bar height table. So this table actually works with bar stools that we also got a new like asset of. So we did get a new bar stool in the pack as well to go with that table. And then we obviously got some new kitchen items as all of you guys might have been able to tell from all of the trailers and stuff. So we did get two new fridges. We got this one. And then we got this one that kind of looks a little bit more like a really old school icebox. So we have that. We got a new stove as well with all of obviously all of like the matching swatches. We got a new range hood as well to go with the stove. And then we did get some new counters as well. So I just put out a few of the new cabinets. So obviously there's a few of them that look a little bit different, obviously. So we have like the different end pieces and the corner pieces and, you know, all of that kind of stuff. But yeah, they obviously have a bunch of different swatches. We have the new like kitchen counters as well. And then we have the matching island counters. So yeah, obviously, so they don't have any drawers on this side, but they do have some curtains on that side and some of the swatches or not swatches but like some of the items or like pieces of it have like clutter in them and like drawers and handles and stuff so yeah we have those then we also have a couple of decorative shelving units so we have this what's this called like a hutch yeah it's called a hutch so we have that with like all of the china and stuff in it we have a little decorative forages delight bench. So this is just decorative. You can't actually use it. But you can place stuff on it to make it look to make it look like maybe like a gardening corner or you know that's where your sim goes to I don't know like make bouquets or stuff like that. Just a clutter thing. And then we also have a couple of different shelves as well with some different clutter on it. This one is more of a I guess gardening corner shelf type thing. And then this one is more of a kitchen shelf with the utensils and a little cutting board underneath it as well. So yeah, we have that. We also got a couple of new like bathroom items. So we did get two new sinks. So this one is obviously meant to be more of a, I guess, bathroom sink. And then this sink actually matches up perfectly with the counters. So if you put it in there and you select the same swatch, they will actually match up and it will actually look like the sink is built into the counter. So that's very nice. I really do appreciate the fact that it, that we have a sink like that. So I love that. And then we also got a new bathtub. So no new toilet or new shower in this pack, unfortunately. Because we all know we definitely needed another toilet. But yeah, so we did get a new bathtub. So that's something. And then we also got a new bar as well. So this is a very big four tile wide bar. And obviously it has the 
like top pieces and you know it's a very fancy looking bar it's definitely something you'd probably end up using in a community lot rather than in a regular residential lot but yeah we have that we also have a couple of new light fixtures as you probably saw earlier so yeah we have a couple of new pendant lights we have these like I guess dark and stormy ceiling like lantern type things that actually look like lanterns and we have them for all three of the wall heights so short medium and tall wall height and a bunch of different color swatches on them we also have the peddler's chandelier so again tall medium all of that wall height so yeah we have those then we have a couple of wall lights that i'm just having floating in the midair but yeah so we have these four different wall lights so we have one that's a little bit more fancy kind of matches the sh chandelier we have this one that's kind of like a lantern basically it's an electric lantern that matches the hanging lanterns then we also have this one which is very cute it's kind of just like a little mason jar with some fairy lights in it and yeah it's really cute i love this this is more of a like decorative thing to me than an actual light fixture but i really love the way that looks and then we also have this gnome or gnome's arm menu so it's basically a little like chalkboard menu thing with a candle on it so it does add a little bit of light as well so yeah and then we obviously have the really big like like street light kind of thing that's yeah like basically more of a street light kind of thing we also have a couple of more decorative things that i totally almost like glossed over but we do have a new clock that's very pretty i love the way this looks and then we also have a couple of different wall decorations so we have this like different frame pictures we have a little like vent type thing that you can use as decorations we have a little wreath as well a little like hanging banner type thing with a bunch of different like prints on it we have a poster that has a bunch of different things on it as well as a painting that has a few different wood swatches and the picture also changes a little bit for some of them so yeah we have that and then we don't really have any new curtains but we do have this new blind that's actually very useful and i do enjoy a lot of the swatches so yeah we have that and then we have a rug as you can see we have a very big very nice rug love i love a lot of the swatches on this actually it's not super versatile but i do enjoy the colors a lot so yeah we have that and then we just have a couple of like miscellaneous clutter pieces type things so we have like a little bucket and a what's this called like a pitcher type thing we have a couple of tins that's maybe like kitchen tins with maybe like coffee tea stuff like that in it we have a little like kettle that you can put on the counter like as decorative you know just a decorative thing we have a little tea set as well and a little like casserole dish type thing and then obviously a little like chicken that's very cute you can imagine obviously you'd put your eggs or stuff like that underneath it so yeah we have that and then we have just a very nice basket of like blankets and stuff that you may you might be like maybe like would put i don't know like outside on the porch if you want a blanket or something so yeah we have that with a few different like swatches a few different pictures a little dog and i think there's one with like a rooster on it as well so yeah we have that and then we have the picnic baskets as well that i forgot to mention so yeah we do have two functional pic picnic baskets that your sims can actually pack and store food in and take with them to like have a picnic wherever they want and then we actually also have a new laptop that you can not laptop it's not a laptop it's actually like a full like pc so you can't move it around in your sims's inventory but it kind of looks like a typewriter it looks like literally a typewriter with a screen so yeah it's a very weird looking computer but then again it's the sims so i guess they could totally do that if they wanted to but yeah we have that and i think that's basically all of the or most of the bold buy stuff right yeah we just have these signs that i forgot to mention so 
Yeah, but I mean, these are more of a, like, community lot build type thing. So, yeah, we have these. We have, obviously, the matching post. We have this sign that's also more of, like, a community lot type thing. We have a phone booth that's just decorative. You can't actually use it or interact with it at all. But, yeah, we have that. And then we just have the community information sign. So... Yeah, kind of like the information community boards in Evergreen Harbor. But yeah, we have that one for Br for Henford on Bagley as well. And those are all of the regular build buy items. So let's hop into show live edits and I'll show off those items. Okay, so I just cleared out a little bit of space on the lot so we can take a look at all of this stuff. But yeah, so I'm just in the show live edit objects menu. And you can access this by opening up the cheat console and typing in bb.showliveeditobjects and then clicking enter and then just refreshing your search bar. So just by clicking a little like magnifying glass search icon and it will refresh your search bar and you'll be able to see a lot of the like show live edit items. So there are a lot of items underneath this menu that I'm not going to be showing off. So there's things like decorative windows and you know there's a bunch of like just random things that are like def decorative windows decorative doors that aren't actually functional there's a bunch of like ruin pieces so like wall pieces a bunch of different like fencing pieces as well that you can use and you know stuff like that things that you would find in the world basically there's also a few decorative cars in here a decorative like farm truck stuff like that so yeah there's a bunch of decorative things in this menu that you will actually see me use in a lot of my builds up now in this coming week you will actually see me using a lot of these items in those builds so like this open gate for example this gate actually works it's actually functional your sims can walk through it so yeah we have that we have a like decorative fountain there's a bunch of different things there's it's also a really nice way of building on a budget so a lot of the decorative items that i would have shown off you know a little bit earlier so like this barrel for instance it has a price tag in the regular build buy catalog but in this catalog, it's actually totally free. So the same with this lantern. Now this lantern doesn't light up, so it doesn't provide any light. But it's still a nice decorative item. Same with the bucket. And even this little table is totally free in the debug menu. So if you're on a budget, then this is definitely the place to come to look for some debug and some for like some decorative things that you can't actually afford when you're on a budget. So yeah definitely worth checking that out but there are a few things that i do want to show off that i find personally very very useful and they're actually these things so they do match those little like wooden support beams that i showed you guys earlier so we have the rabbit we have a rooster and we even have a little fox one as well so these aren't in the regular build catalog, but it, they are in the show live edit catalog. So you can use them for builds if you wanted to. There's also things like a little tr crate full of, I don't know what these suppo are supposed to be. They're like, I don't know, not turnips, maybe like onions or something. But we have those. We have a couple of bags full of stuff. So like decorative, you know, maybe like feed for animals or stuff like that. We have a flagpole and then we have a bunch of different rocks and stuff that you can use that you would find in just like the regular world. But yeah, they do work very well if you size them down. Some of them are really handy for landscaping, stuff like that. So yeah, we have those items. We also have some really big items like full on shell buildings that you can use if you know, you're building something very specific. So yeah, you have stuff like that, but the things that I really wanted to show off were the landscaping items. So there's a crap ton of landscaping items in the debug menu. So not even the debug menu, just the show live edit menu. So I'm going to lay out a few of them and just show them off. So I mean, there's stuff like this, like this planter that you will see me use later on to put stuff in it. And 
you know, there's a bunch of very nice, just just decorative things that you don't have in the regular menu because we only have those like three topiary bushes. But these are all very, very useful. These are very useful for like ponds and stuff. There's a bunch of different mushrooms and just little like grassy things and you know just to make a space look a little bit more alive I guess I could say that's probably one of the biggest things one of the biggest reasons why I love the debug menu especially with this pack in particular this pack definitely has one of the best like show live edit object menus that I've seen in any of the packs recently so yeah we have stuff like a broken fence and just things that can add a lot of realism to a build if you're working on something and you want to spend a lot of time like detailing it. So yeah, I mean like these reedy type things for example would be great for a pond. You have things like these that you will see just you know around the world. So like the random little clumps of grass and stuff that grow everywhere. And you know if you have like a big open space in like let's say for example like a cow's paddock or like a cow's enclosure or something and you don't just want to have a flat open expanse of like grass or dirt or whatever you can just put you know a few of these in maybe size them down a little bit and it just looks like there's actually something growing and it's not just like super flat plain grass if that makes sense but yeah, we have those, and then we also have those, like, stone fences or stone walls that I was talking about. So as you can see, we have a bunch of different stone walls and things like that in the debug menu that you will actually see used throughout the world and stuff. And I use them for a couple of builds as well because they look very nice. But we don't have any matching swatches in this fence. So basically what that means is that you can have the debug fencing, but you won't have a gate that matches it. So that's very irritating and I really wish they would just give us the same swatches or just not give us a blue rock swatch for some weird ass reason. But anyway, that's just me and my little like soapbox of matching swatches. It's, I guess that's something that will always just be something with The Sims with, you know, not having matching swatches. That's one of the most irritating things ever. But yeah, we also have, moving on from my little, like, swatch rant, we also have a couple of pieces that are, like, water wheels and stuff like that. So we have this from the actual water mill that you will see around the world. I think I show it off in my world overview. So go ahead and check that out if, you know, this video is going up after the world overview. If not, then, you know, surprise, I will have a world overview out at some point. But I think this is going out after that one. So I will leave it linked on the screen. But yeah, I'll also leave on the screen a link to a playlist with all of my early access videos if you end up missing some of them because I will be posting a lot throughout the next week or so. So yeah, just keep an eye on the playlist, I guess. And turn on the notification bell if you want to be notified of when I upload. But yeah, moving on back to the plants. So we have a couple of just greenery plants. We have this really pretty like flowery plant. We have a couple of like rose bushes that look fantastic. I love these like darkish, almost magenta reddish kind of roses. We have these that kind of look like, I don't know, like, not daisies. I think, uh, they kind of look like marigolds. I'm not exactly sure. But yeah, we have those. We have some really nice, like, fern type plants as well. Obviously, we have some lavender. We have these ivy pieces that I was talking about. So these are very similar to those. But you also have things like a corner piece to go, like, at the corner of a building. You also have this one which looks very nice very big but you can size it down and just like raise it or lower it as you need it you also have things like a really nice just decorative shed if you know you you're building on like a very big lot and you maybe just need something to fill a little bit of space make it look a little bit more realistic we have some like i guess i don't know if these are like milk jugs or what they actually are called but 
That's what I think of when I see them. So yeah, we have that. We have a decorative tractor as well. So that's really cool. And then we have a bunch of different trees. So we actually have this tree. And it actually has a matching set of lights that fit around it perfectly. So it looks like it's draped in like fairy lights. And there's actually a couple of strands of fairy lights. So we have this one that's like the three strands. We also have one that's just a singular strand around here somewhere. Yeah, over here it is. Okay, so yeah, we have a singular strand as well that you can just size down if you don't want it to be that big. And you can actually use it in a bunch of different ways if that's something you'd want to do. I actually ended up using it a lot in some of my builds. We also just have a bunch of like different clumps of trees. Obviously, we have some hanging lanterns. Now, these actually work best if you're using the new weeping willow tree that we got in the show life edit objects so if i can just find it here we go so yeah these actually work best with this tree now i don't really exactly know the proper like i don't know i guess configuration or rotation of the tree that it's supposed to be in to work correctly but yeah, you can just play around with it, rotate it a little bit to find a way that it actually looks okay. But yeah, so we have that, that tree. We also have a couple of like flowery trees and yeah, the weeping willow. We have a tree that kind of looks like the one from Cats and Dogs as well. We also just have a nice big like skinny tree. A big, another big like, I guess this is like maybe like a Warthorn tree. I don't know. It's a big tree, okay? I don't know the name of the trees. They're just big and trees to me. But yeah, we have a bunch of different trees and evergreens and just big trees that you can use for so many different things. Not just farm builds. We also have a big bush that you can use, I guess. But this tree, apart from the like light tree and the willow tree, this is probably my favorite. If you size it down, you can see it better. But yeah, I don't even know. This doesn't have a name because it's in the debug menu. But it's so pretty. I love it so much. It's a very nice looking tree. And then there's also a bunch of like bridges and... You know, there's a bunch of things in the debug menu. If you've never taken a look at the debug menu, then definitely do that. So yeah, this is just the show live edit objects menu. But if you open up the cheat console and type in bb.show hidden objects, you will also see a bunch of other things. Now, these are the things that you unlock through gameplay. So like the cows and, you know like rainbow cows and golden treats that you can get midnight treats cookbooks you know different animal clothing packages and you know different eggs and you know all of that kind of stuff i'm not going to go through all of these i do want to keep some of them as a surprise for you guys but just as a quick little overview this is what a giant pumpkin looks like this is what a giant oversized head of lettuce looks like, for example. So, yeah, there's a bunch of different harvestables in here as well, like mushrooms and raspberries and all of those kind of like plantable things. So, yeah, if you get the pack, once you get your hands on the pack, definitely go through and just take a look at some of the debug items as well. Even if you don't want to cheat for your gameplay, just go through and take a look at it because there's a lot of things in here. And if you're a builder, definitely check out Show Life Edit because, like I said, there's a bunch of plants that I wouldn't have been able to build without all of these plants. I'm just going to throw that out there. But yeah, so that's this build overview for you guys, build by overview. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give the video a like. And if you're new to the channel and you'd like to see some more Sims content, including, like I said, some more early access content, feel free to hit the subscribe button and remember to turn on the notification bell as well to be notified of whenever I upload another video. But yeah, sorry about the fact that this video is about like almost 60 minutes long. I'm really sorry about that. But there was a lot to go through. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you all in my very next video. Bye everyone.